you can download the grow app link in the description hey guys hi hello welcome to another episode today and today's episode is called how to invest in stocks for beginners now if you guys are not beginners and you already know how to invest in stocks i think this is not the video for you guys because this is for people who have no clue who have no idea who have just entered the stock market who've just turned 18 or you know are going to turn 18 and they're like you know what i want to know how to invest in stocks what are the different steps and procedures this video is for them right so for all the people who are experts you can i think you can skip this video this is only for uh, basic guys but if you're skipping it don't forget to subscribe and then skip and all the people who are not uh seen this video before please subscribe as well it's for both okay i'll i'll be little happy now we're going to do a six step process okay six step process on how to invest in stocks for an absolute beginner okay who has no idea cool step 1 first step obviously is to open a demat account Okay now what is a demat account it's an account where you can start trading stocks right there's a broker you have to choose a broker and you have to start trading through that broker and all your shares go to NSDL and CDSL where everything is cleared and stuff like that okay so first demat account now grow has a demat account which also has zero amc charges amc is something that you have to pay every year it's called account maintenance charges that has gone uh, that keeps going annually so grow has a zero account maintenance charges thing and also has very low brokerage fees as well okay and you can choose any other uh, demat account as well not necessarily grow but i'm just saying what grow has because this is in the grow channel as well okay but it's up to you but the first step is get a demat account okay get a broker get a demat account and you can do this as soon as you're 18 okay that is the first step now second step okay like shashank i've done i've finished my demat account now what do i do there's so many stocks here i don't know there's so many different kind of financial instrument is kind of scary i don't know where to start okay before you even put 1 rupee into investing first you need to make a budget okay first thing you need to do is keep a budget aside understand how much you're making okay what is your incoming the revenue that is there in your personal revenue stream okay if i'm making say 50000 a month or maybe 40000 a month understand how much is coming in your pocket first and then say okay shashank out of this 50000 maybe i can save 10% or maybe i can save 20% ideally a good investor should save anywhere between 10 to 20% minimum 10% you have to save okay if you're not saving minimum 10% that means you're spending more than what you're supposed to be earning okay either earn more or spend less that's only way it works so the first thing set aside a budget and say shashank every month okay i don't care about the amount but it's a percentage every month 10% 15% 20% i will sit and i will invest okay before you even invest this is what you need to do okay now depending on that okay now you said okay i want to invest this much now second thing you need to decide is after setting the investment budget aside what is my goal okay what am i saving for right am i saving for the next goa trip or am i saving to buy a car or am i saving to buy a bike or am i saving to buy a house which is obviously a little long term or am i just saving for a stable secure future right different goals people have different goals like i want to save a particular amount so that i go for one international trip or something with my friends tomorrow maybe i don't know right so it is very important to first align your goals and understand why i'm investing because that investment goal will determine your investment time period also okay so if i want to go and buy a house then i have to invest for at least 10 15 years or if i want to buy a very expensive car i have to again save for 10 15 years if i want to send my parents for a beautiful international trip and i know the budget is maybe 15 or 20 lakhs then i have to start saving from today and that would take maybe 10 to 15 years for me to save just to ensure that my parents go for a nice beautiful international trip okay so after setting aside that 10 20% okay 10 20% even if you get promoted and your salary increases or you get extra revenue that 10 20% of that amount should be fixed huh? so your amount might vary but your percentage has to be fixed okay and then you decide how many years do i want to keep this right do i want to keep this until 35 or do i want to keep this just as a backup that i want to make a discipline of saving that's also fine even if you don't have a goal and your goal can be just saving that's also a good goal, goal to have but just don't keep rumoring constantly okay and after that once you understand this once you understand that the third thing before you even buy a particular stock you need to know what is diversification it's called portfolio diversification now you've heard this saying don't put all eggs in one basket right unless you own the basket okay don't put all eggs in one basket because if you put all your money in say one stock and for god knows what reason something might happen even for the best of the best stocks right you might buy maybe every put all your savings into reliance and then something really goes bad with reliance 
then you know you can't determine your entire future on someone else so it's always good to split okay so portfolio diversification basically says that 10% that you're investing every month or 20% that you're investing every month you invested in multiple stocks okay multiple good long term stocks so that even if one goes up the other might go down it will balance your portfolio out because see at the end of the day it's your money and you should be safe okay think about it from that perspective so three things under setting aside budget first thing put a nice 20 10% budget on the side okay that's very important find out what is your goal for investment if it's a um milestone based goal or is it just simple investing goal that's also important and then realize that diversification is very important okay these are the three things you even before you even invest you start this okay now we'll see how to invest okay till now we understood the psychology and one more very important thing in the psychology is don't go for quick short term money okay quick gain lot of new investors in the market today are doing that uh most of them are investing in ipos for listing gains okay that means they get 10000 rupees extra 15000 rupees extra they're very happy and they're like yes don't think about it from that perspective please if you are going to be a good investor a diligent and a smart investor you will only win in the long term right compounding interest kicks in at long term you can invest 1000 today that 1000 will grow for you make money work for you okay don't keep rooming that money and just go party and enjoy cool awesome step 3 let's come to investing in stocks now for a new beginner okay maybe i have no idea what stock market is okay so i don't even know how to find good stocks obvious common sense right i don't know how to find good stocks i don't know what parameters are i don't know what ratios are uh, i don't know what moving averages are nothing i have no idea but it's okay right you don't have to be scared that you know i have lack of knowledge so i'm not going to save that should not be the approach okay there are simple things that you can do with zero knowledge in the stock market for example the three ways to invest here is okay you might know little bit so you start investing in your own stocks you like no no i know this stock is good i know that stock is good this is a large cap stock this is a mid cap stock maybe you know how to do that research you can invest in that no problem these are for people who have slight knowledge in the market but people who don't have any knowledge can go for a direct mutual fund who don't have time to do this research and who have no idea how to start you can go find out mutual funds online and just start investing in those mutual funds okay there is a um, uh, i think on very different websites you will see a crystal rating okay crystal rating is very important to understand whether the mutual fund is good or bad even the mutual fund also shows you historical returns it tells you how much it has given in the past how much you could have grown your money if you had done sip how much you would get all the data all the information is available so if you have no knowledge in stocks you can't pick your stocks let an expert do it for you just put in the mutual fund at least you're saving right instead of spending it okay now the last thing third thing if you again have no idea but we all know historically in the past that nifty and sensex has always gone up okay it's just an upward curve over a period of time you can buy something called index funds or etfs okay which replicate the index okay so if nifty goes up by 50% your thing also will do really well your portfolio will do really well so you just replicate or mirror the stock market but if you're new to the market three things you can do one obviously invest in your own stocks which you have researched if you don't know that don't worry there are mutual funds that you can invest really safe mutual funds large cap preferred okay because you're a new investor and index funds and etfs are also a good way for new people to invest okay now these are the three different ways if i have no knowledge i'm a beginner i can invest in this now assume you're a beginner who's done some research okay now step number 4 is for people who invest in stocks by themselves you saying shashank you know what i've got little bit of understanding of the stock market i don't want mutual funds i've already put in mutual funds and etf but i want to pick my own stocks okay and you're a new person now what happens generally a new person entering the stock market will always look at making money fast okay stock market is not a very fast quick money making game okay you try to beat the stock market you might get hurt in the process rather play the long term game okay now if i'm a new guy completely new guy it is beneficial for you to invest in large cap companies who are so big it's too difficult to fail for them like you say tcs or itc or reliance again this is not a stock recommendation video i'm just giving some names of big companies that are so big it's difficult for them to fall like reliance and stuff like that right so it is wise for new investors to invest in large cap and some mid cap stocks as well but lot of people they look at small cap stocks small cap means small stocks in who have a low market capitalization lot of investors try to invest in small cap stocks because they're like you know what the price of this stock is only 50 rupees one day it'll reach 500 rupees i'll make 10 times my money 
that's what a lot of people think right but for a stock from 50 rupees to reach 500 rupees when it's not an established stock it is fighting many hurdles on the way right but a stock which is already very big right and is growing consistently year on year with a certain growth percentage that is more safer for you okay so for a new investor i would suggest stick to large cap and mid cap do not go for that quick money kind of thing on small cap okay avoid high volatility stocks okay high volatility stocks matlab stocks that are hitting upper circuit lower circuit upper circuit lower circuit okay lot of new investors do this okay uh, avoid that avoid penny stocks a lot of new investors invest in penny stocks what are penny stocks penny stocks are these stocks like 1 rupee 2 rupee 3 rupee 4 rupee stocks right and you will be like i'll invest in 1 rupee and it'll become 2 rupees i already have doubled my money and you will see if you go to youtube you might see a lot of videos telling the five top penny stocks of the year and you know you'll see a lot of comments uh, in different you know websites saying that you should buy this penny stock never buy anything in the stock market without doing your own research if just think about it from a different perspective if making money was so easy everyone would have done it right that means it is not that easy whenever easy money is coming to you think twice ki how is this even possible okay never fall for that trap so don't get into that quick uh, you know kind of a thing now whenever you are investing in the stock market with your own knowledge you have to learn a little bit about the stock market you have to learn about the stock itself how to do fundamental analysis of a stock how to understand ratios how to see the sales growth you have to check not only this year's company's performance you have to check last 5 years company performance right you need to start reading news articles about the company don't take everything at face value but you start reading about the company understand what the company does go to their website there's something called investor presentation it's a beautiful ppt that companies makes where you can actually go inside and read about the company so download the investor presentation and start reading okay if you have more time and you want to become smarter right start reading a company's annual report every year they put out an annual report so you can start reading that ideally if you're new in the stock market and if you want to learn and you have this thing that you know i want to become an expert pick one sector okay focus on one sector and then start reading up on that sector i just find all the stocks in that sector and start reading up okay this stock is like this oh i didn't even know this existed in this market you see how much knowledge you'll get and trust me when i tell you this in the stock market knowledge is more important than investing okay if you have knowledge you know how to make money in the stock market okay but run behind knowledge not behind quick listing gains and quick money from ipos and stuff like that okay so learn and understand how to evaluate stocks learn and understand how to evaluate a particular industry and figure out what can be the next big thing in the next 5 years try to analyze and connect the dots between trends finance is a worldwide web okay something that happens in us will affect india as well so don't just be stuck to indian news learn to read everything online okay something changes in us some fed rate hike changes in us indian market might go up and down so everything is connected okay now uh these are the now you've understood if you're a new investor and you want to invest in your own stock you can figure out these things you have to learn there's no shortcut to it you have to learn uh, but if before you learn you can start investing in large cap stocks mutual funds etfs up to you okay now a very basic question a lot of people ask okay when do we sell the stock okay when is the right time to exit okay everyone says okay this is the right time to entry you invested in a stock and you're keeping it for a long time but when is the right time to exit and this is a very 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 common question that lot of people have and in fact lot of new investors as soon as they see their portfolio up 35% they're so happy that it's up 35% that they will take out the money okay most of you all do that now i'll tell you when to sell the stock firstly if your investment horizon of saving was for 10 years do not even touch it for 10 years if it's up 35% good for you right imagine after 10 years it would be up by 350% maybe right so do not exit unnecessarily okay now if you think that you know it's gone up too much and i want to take out the profits and maybe invest in something else or rebalance my portfolio right obviously if you have 10 stocks and one stock is done really well that stock will take up the majority of your portfolio so you can rebalance it you can remove a little bit put it in the other thing and keep that same you know perspective there okay but don't remove it don't remove it to go spend somewhere okay i've seen a lot of people getting 35% 40% gain they're like chill or time to enjoy party time right don't do that okay don't sell okay until two things happen okay either you desperately need the money for some emergency that is why you have saved okay that saving is for an emergency or for a particular goal right if either of that one thing happens you can remove 
because you're like i save for 10 years for this exact purpose and i'm removing it right now if there is no emergency don't touch it let it go let it keep compounding for let it grow for you let that money keep growing over time okay but the second reason why would you sell if the company's fundamentals that you have chosen okay i've chosen this damn good company shishank it's amazing but you know suddenly in that company fundamentally something goes wrong okay really wrong fundamentally okay their whole business plan is changed and it's just going into a bad track or you know the sales have dipped not a small dip if one sales have dipped in a small period because of some sentimental news doesn't matter because the fundamentals of the company need to be strong suddenly two three plants have shut down that is when you exit and you be like okay i need to find one more now okay this is gone from my portfolio out of the stocks that i chose fundamentally this stock has gotten bad let me find another stock it is very difficult for a stock to be fundamentally good for 30 years think about it right so it might go wrong so until that don't remove okay the main reason keep thinking the main reason you've invested in a stock is for long term gains right so that over 10 years 20 years 30 years and you all see these infographics online right you see these images where it said if you had invested in itc 25 years ago this would have been your net worth and you'll be like wow that is so good but how many of you all can actually keep and hold it for 20 years right i agree that is when the gains actually come if you keep it for a long period of time but it is very difficult for us to see it and keep it for 20 years and go through that and that discipline not many people can do and the people who do it obviously end up making good long term wealth gain okay so do not sell the stock until you really need the money okay or until you feel that fundamentally something has gone wrong okay that's when you sell the stock or else if you don't need the money what is the point of removing it and spending it somewhere rather let it be and grow you spend with the remaining 80% of your income 20% you save remaining 80% of your income to enjoy life is more than enough okay cool now last step step number 6 and this is the most crucial step in my opinion for young new beginners is that once you've learned all this don't stop okay the step number 6 for me is keep investing continue investing okay whether you want to do an sip whether you want to manually invest every month whether you want to invest little this month maybe more next month does not matter but continue this discipline of investing month on month time on time and wait wait for that perfect time you will see don't expect investing every month and you be like shit it's been 3 months i've not got much gains only 6% only 7% it takes time boss it takes a lot of time for you to get make a lot of money in the stock market but what you're not understanding if you keep looking at 6 7% your corpus is building every month i'm investing 10000 assume or every month i'm even investing 5000 right there's no minimum investment to start even if you start with 100 rupees it is considered investment it is good start saving from day one make a habit don't think about how much i'm saving make the habit of saving okay every month on this day particular day i start saving 10000 10000 10000 every month in a year becomes 1 lakh 20000 that same amount in 5 years becomes almost 6 lakhs which is insane okay now yeah 6 lakhs so it becomes 6 lakhs in 5 years so keep saving keep saving even if it's 5000 or 10000 a month does not matter just keep saving constantly okay so that is my most important thing now apart from these six steps for new people to invest i'm going to put two additional things for you guys this is like a bonus kind of a thing which again you guys know but i will tell you what it is okay for all the new people out there it is very crucial and very important for you to understand the pulse of the market okay what is the pulse of the market pulse of the market means you should at least know what is happening in the stock market okay now how do you do that okay how do i know what's happening in the stock market very simple okay you need to start reading news news articles news websites you can download all the news articles and websites economic times live mint there are so many other websites online just start reading about the market understand the pulse of the market okay that is very important that is very crucial understand the pulse of the market okay once you understand that you will know how the market is reacting and that will help you make better decisions and you will start gaining a lot of knowledge the second thing is start learning okay educationally start learning what are the different type of ratios what is roe what is roce right uh, how is pat growth good how is sales growth good what is ebitda what is ebitda margin there's so many things right now i'm not saying learn each and everything but learn what is important learn what is crucial because at the end of the day you're learning for yourself that knowledge over here builds and if this knowledge builds you know how to apply that knowledge in the market and that will eventually get you your return so every time you start spending on yourself to learn something don't feel sad because it will definitely one day pay its returns back to you 
Got it? So don't worry about that. So just to summarize the six steps again for you guys. The first thing obviously is to open a DMAT account. Okay. Before putting any money, first understand your investment horizon. What are you investing for? And start setting a budget asset. Ki Shashank, every month I will do this. This much I'm going to invest. Set it for yourself. Don't set it for Shashank. Set it for yourself. Okay. Third thing. Find out the three ways to invest, right? The three different type of investments are you either do it by yourself, self-invest in stocks, okay? Or you put in mutual funds and don't worry about it. Just put an SIP and just keep doing that. Or you invest in index funds or ETFs, okay? That is number three. Now, if you're doing it, step number four, if you're doing it by yourself, then you should understand how to do it. First, diversification is very important. Underst invest in businesses that you understand. Stay away from these penny stocks, volatile stocks and stuff like that, okay? And invest, try to invest in large cap and mid cap. Don't try to go for those quick, small cap listing gains. Okay, so do that. And step number five for new people is how to sell and when to sell a stock. I told you only sell it if you really need it or an investment goal has achieved. Okay, you've reached an investment goal where I have to send my parents for a vacation. Then withdraw it without any care and send them off. And then make a new budget again and start saving again from scratch. Okay, do not stop that. You have to have a backup. And last but not the least, the most important point continue the discipline, keep investing, have that discipline. And only when you have this financial discipline, trust me, take any compounding calculator out or just take any calculator out, put the worst case interest rate that you might think I can get. Okay. Even if you say 10% growth year on year, put whatever amount you want. Okay. And multiply that until the next 30 years of your life or even 25 years or even 20 years of your life. You see how much money will be left in that thing. Corpus. It's simple, it's simple math. Okay. But you have to have the discipline to do this apart from that learn as much as possible about the market uh, there's a lot of videos on grow itself that teach you a dif different type of the market uh, ratios and stuff like that also grow keeps putting out news articles every time it talks about what's happening in the psu segment okay what is this new sector ambani is getting into so start reading all this it, these are quick short videos that grow keeps putting out so you can start reading and gain this knowledge now in today's day knowledge is available for free everywhere just try, try take as, as much as possible and start reading some news articles as well okay so yeah, that is what this was. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you learned something as well from this video for all the beginners. And don't stress, don't worry. It is not that difficult to invest in the stock market as you think it would be. If you think I have missed out any step or you think, Shashank, can you please explain something more in detail? Please leave it in the comments below. I will come and start teaching you all the other things as well. Okay. Uh, and if you like the video and if you like what I said, like and subscribe because I look at the likes and subscribe. So I get happy with that. Uh, but cool. Yeah, that's it. So put your comment below. If you think Shashank, can you please explain this? You know, we are new investors. We want to understand how this works, how that works, maybe how IPO works. Let me know in the comments and I'll come and teach you that as well. All the videos that are made on the growth channel, including this one, okay, is only for educational purposes. We do not recommend any buy or sell uh, for a stock in this video. Okay, so this is only for educational, no intent to buy or sell any stock recommendations. You can download the grow app link in the description box. Please download it. Thank you for watching. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and or other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.